Dr. Berger, thank you. Tonight, urgent concerns about the Delta variant accounting for at least one in 10 new COVID cases here in the U.S. Hospitals are now seeing patients who are younger and health experts are telling pregnant women, many of whom are reluctant to get vaccinated, anyone who has not been fully vaccinated is at increasing risk and should continue to mask up. Here's ABC's Trevor Alt. Tonight, the Delta variant now detected in nearly every state and frontline hospital workers growing concern for people who still aren't vaccinated. The patients I'm seeing now are either young people who never believed they would get sick, young pregnant women who were afraid of the vaccine and now they're having symptoms, hypoxia and their babies are in danger. This week, the CDC estimating pregnant women were less than half as likely to be fully vaccinated than non-pregnant women as of early May. But vaccine hesitancy is a problem for entire regions. Tragically, we're still, we're now two COVID nations because as good as we're looking in the Northeast and in California and a few other states in the South, things are looking very dire. The darker part of this map showing much of the South and even parts of the West where vaccination rates are lowest will be particularly vulnerable to the Delta variant. But with summer camps ramping up, many parents across the country are torn about easing restrictions. On one hand, we want everything to go back to normal. We want the kids to feel like they can be kids. On the other hand, are we just moving too quickly? Health officials are now reaching out to underserved groups. Here in Denver, a nonprofit holding dozens of pop-up clinics targeting the Latino community. Venga vacunarte, no tenga miedo. In English, it will say, come and get your vaccine, don't be afraid. And in Texas, Houston father of two, Alan Herrera, serving as a reminder of the ongoing threat. I didn't know what was going to happen, and, you know, I just told my wife that I love her. He spent nearly six months in the hospital, undergoing a double lung transplant. But this Father's Day, he's back home with his family. Yeah, it means everything to, to me and the boys to have him back. I didn't bring my kids into this world for me not to be in it. To be able to celebrate Father's Day with them is just, I mean, it's a dream come true. And Lindsay, another sign of state's easing restrictions tonight. There will be a packed crowd inside here at Madison Square Garden for a Foo Fighters concert. It's the first show here since the start of the pandemic, and everyone attending will have to prove they are fully vaccinated. Lindsay? So glad to see that Alan is back home. Trevor, thank you.